come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to this exciting episode of the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Let's see what you did there. That's right. Mm-hmm. Although that would be C's. Uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> podcast. Um, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Uh, we're a weekly uh, movie review podcast, and these are the Internet Radio s- Superstars. <laughs> Holly. Michaela. <laughs> Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight, <laughs> we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean, what movie did you make me endure tonight? <laughs> uh, hey, you were all for this last week. Okay, I had a very different picture in my mind of what this was going to be. Well... Well, I mean, not a very different... I mean, how different could it be? We watch. <laughs> you don't say it. You hiss you it. Hiss it hiss according it. to the poster. I'm sure this is going to be a delight to listen to. God, this is going to be cheese grater and ears to ears just hissing into the mic on that, right? Yeah, that's right. How many S's we have there in the title? Is it uh, uh, one, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven S's. S's. One capitalized. Yes. I don't understand that really. It's we English. should just gone all. <laughs> all right, but for, do we do English <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. onomatopoeia? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For just S's well, because it's because it's a title. So it's a proper noun. It's, oh, yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> no, no. But sometimes you just got to go with looks and fuck grammar. Yeah. All capitals would have been better. <laughs> Although it doesn't look as. I mean, to be fair, the last two also look like they're like morphing into one. They so. are. But is that because the morphing in with within the movie? Oh, 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 the, oh, the oh, oh, okay. oh spoilers, oh, maybe. Oh, like, yeah. human, the human capital, and then we slowly devolve. Okay, okay. who is directed? Yeah, who, di- who directed this? This. Yeah. Wait, did we get the year? Yeah, 1973. And boy, is it! Wow. Years, the fashion yeah. really tells it's you. Super yeah. 73. Yeah, uh, I love it years, though. Two years before Jaws, and I mentioned that because this is a Zanuck Brown production, the first Zanuck Brown production. Whoa, who's this Zanuck Brown you speak of? Uh, uh, Richard Zanuck and Dan Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, David. David Brown. David Brown. Uh, I was like Dan Brown. Uh, Dan Brown. Oh no, that was. Da Vinci Code. That's yeah. a different Brown. That's Da Vinci Code. Different yeah. Brown. I was like, uh, yeah. Uh, Richard Zanuck, David Brown, uh, producers of the infamous Jaws. Well, wow, yes. so they didn't stray very far from their wheelhouse. No, they love yeah. a creature feature. Yeah. It would okay. appear. Yeah. And seeing Zanuck gave me a flashback because I watched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Marissa Zanuck. Is a relative? Who is, the, who is married to Dean, the son of Richard Zanuck, oh. was on that show for one season. Do she they, blazed out in glory real quick. <laughs> do, um, they, do they bring that up they, a lot? It's her only storyline is that she is married to a Zanuck. So the whole season, it's like, wow. I think that was one season she was on, it was like an anniversary of Jaws. So the, her whole storyline uh, was leading up the whole season, was planning this big party uh, for so celebrating Jaws. So they just bring people in when it's... Oh, it's like when it's current sports. to the culture, they, like oh, Kyle yeah. Richards. If, or whatever yeah, well, Kyle Richards has been on it for like fourteen years, straight. right? She's but been they on really the like maybe made her storyline a yeah. little more major because oh, Halloween. It was, was Halloween for like three seasons. <laughs> she, she, remember, she said she had to get a nose job because Michael Myers broke her nose on set. Oh, so. right, but, right. So there was a season like leading up to a season we're filming, and yeah. a season we just finished. Exactly. Basically. They'll okay. milk that storyline for as much as they can. Of but yeah, course, so of I saw the inside of the Zanuck family oh. on that show a little bit, and it was not that interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just and who directed tonight's feature film? Uh, it was wait, I forgot his first name. Bernard Kowalski. Bernard, Bernard? Kowalski. Do mm-hmm. we know Bernard? Bernard has directed. Uh, he was a TV director from like the fifties. Oh, so he started out with. Okay. Uh, I looked every fifties TV any every any 50, TV yeah. show. The Rifleman, High Chaparral, yep. like anything that's yep. aired. I went Sean's. On H and I network, yes, yeah. H&I yeah. Network. Any, any, <laughs> anyone that, episodes, yes, that aired on my network, Gunsmoke, yes, yes, literally, Gunsmoke. and it was like five episodes each of all these yep. shows. Yeah. Yeah. Worked it. his way up to a couple episodes of Baywatch Nights. <laughs> yes. There you go. I mean, God, God wow. bless the man. But that's his most. He need to start watching Baywatch. Right right Attack of the we Giant really Leeches yeah. yeah, in 1959. That, have you ever yeah. seen it? No. It's a Roger Corman produced. I believe it. The leeches are seriously guys wearing big black trash bags. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. That's but he, but he's done a few things. He did a lot of TV movies and TV earlier mm-hmm. on. Some of his uh, uh, notables are uh, Frontier, uh, Hot Car Girl from 1958, <laughs> Night of the Blood Beast, Attack of the Giant Leeches, Blood and Steel, uh, Stiletto, Black Noon, Terror in the Sky, Women in Chains, 
A, a, Why a did TV you look movie, at me when though. you said that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really wanted you to know. Not <laughs> women in cages. <laughs> no. that's, women in chains. Uh, okay. Those chains. are two different women movies. Chains. The yeah. Woman Hunter from 1972. Okay, that's like, cool. Stared me down when you <laughs> said that. <laughs> I was like, Women in Chains? Women in Chains? Holly? Holly, you know about this genre. You love this genre? You love Women in Chains. I really do. I have do. a question about this movie, though. <laughs> uh, Does this movie have a sequel? <laughs> 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 Nothing from you for five minutes. <laughs> Are you mad I beat you to it, Sean? Yes, that's exactly why. I'm mad that I didn't get to make that joke. No sequels for us. So, s- is a creature feature. Indeed. Um, Based around which creature? Holly. Which creature? Oh, God. S- in fact, so based around it's that based the, around that the just ori- every it was fucking snake therapy for Holly. That, yeah. The, yeah, the original so, title of the movie was Snake, snake. Yeah. and they change it, and to they change it because they wanted to be more mysterious. It's yeah. not though. The it's it's not. <laughs> you like, can probably yeah. guess what. Yeah. So, yeah. About. Uh, what the, but there are people who have a. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a phobia. It is a phobia. Yeah, what is it? Like a real, like can't bear to look at them kind of thing. So, and how? How many times? I've been in this basement for ten years. I yeah, like ten years. How many times have I had to cover my eyes in this basement? A few. I don't think so. Okay, I think no, this was the first time. I'm gonna, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Okay, buried. The buried I uh, I'm going to defend the Sean craft, on this the craft. One, that mm-hmm. he I covered my eyes in the craft. There was, was a very big snake. Yeah, all the snakes you, at the end. Oh, the snake part. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 I'm going to bring up snake shit. Okay. But let okay. me ask this question then, Sean. When you picked this movie, did you realize or did you know that it no. was like heavy, heavy snake focused? I figured it would be. I have not seen this movie before, but I figured with a movie called and with this cover, there will be snakes in it. I was not surprised. At okay, the amount of okay, so he I, did bring it. No, apparently Holly was. Yeah, I admit, What did you expect? Holly? I admit that I should have been prepared for the number of snakes in this okay, movie. There we go. I should have been. That's my. That's on me. I, I was naive. I should have known. Thank you. I appreciate it. The only thing I really knew about this movie is that someone turns into a snake and Reb Brown is in it. So I yes. thought it was just a movie about Reb Brown turning into a snake. This is really. Uh, that's literally uh, what I thought it was. That's fair enough. Fair so enough. I was not prepared. I also for what only knew that was. there would be snakes and Reb Brown, and that's all I knew. There yeah. You go. And to be fair, there's every type of snake. In every. This movie. Oh yeah, like, all of them. Fucking close ups of every we get a, variety. A fucking class on them. <laughs> yeah, it felt like point. I was taking a herpetology class. Yeah. You know? we well then, I guess I have to ask the target audience uh now that you've gone it's through this Holly. experience uh yeah i was I mean, like are you talking about me am i yes. the target audience well i mean as a horror movie it horrified you mm-hmm. yes uh you but do you feel um uh, have you have you have you broken through a barrier no here? no it's, it didn't work <laughs> no okay. exposure I'm therapy still terrified of snakes okay. Okay. all right okay. just like how Barry didn't heal me of many thing i'm still scared of close spaces Look at that snakes and like, snakes in the mouth. I'm okay yeah. with that, that because it's fake. Like that's clearly a, is it though? That could clear, be a very tiny. No, that's clearly an illustration. I'm mouth. okay with yeah. an illustration of a okay. snake. Okay. That's fine. It's just the fact that this movie is a lot of close up shots. A lot. Like the second, like second build in this movie is a fucking cobra. Yep. Because yeah. Because he's king he's got cobra. the most king cobra. They yeah. refer to his king. Yeah. Throughout yeah. Most I, th- of he, I think his little screen time. Yeah. I, mean, I think he does. And it's close-ups. Yeah. It's a lot of close-ups. Yep. A lot of snakes doing things, like opening their mouths and being yeah. mm-hmm. and being well, and being milked of their venom and all these gross <laughs> things that shouldn't be seen. Eating shoes. Eating shoes. Eating sho- we, ate a shoe. Jaw distension yeah. as they yep, do their. He was literally mm, eating a shoe. Yeah, mm, eating a shoe. Attacking the cameraman. There's a That's disclaimer okay. at the beginning of the movie. Oh gosh. Well, actually, no. I think it it just says that. It's not like a warning, but it's no, like they don't all the you. snake stuff you. in this movie is real. Is real. Yeah. You know? Flown in from Dubai or where have you. Uh, yeah. King Cobras and whatnot. There's only one shot technically in the movie, or well, a couple shots, but only one moment uh, where they use a fake snake. And, and I'm the one that his... spotted it. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> fake snake, fake snake. That uh, was when the you know, King this... Cobra's head is grabbed, and the rest is real. Which, like, that's... That's why this hit movie had to be made in the 70s, right? You oh, could, definitely. This movie yeah, could not be it. made oh, past no. this year yeah. at all. No. Like, this safety. I, I think, did I hear somewhere, uh, I think everybody on the, the cast and crew got bit at oh, some yeah. point, like uh, <laughs> making this movie. Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously I you have it. different you know, uh, types of snakes uh, mm-hmm. in the we, danger, Sometimes you know, on going, camera that yeah. we saw them getting bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strother Martin Supp- gets Supposedly <laughs> by the Black Mambas. Yeah. 
like, yeah, I probably have enough venom or, you know, anti-venom to ward off 10 black mambas. Yeah. It's like, that's an unscripted line that he's just using <laughs> to cover the fact yeah. that he just got right, bit exactly. on, and on then, camera. Yeah. And they literally, like, the next scene they show him and his hand is bleeding. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he it got him. Ugh. Remember oh, that yeah. scene in Kathy's Curse where that guy was manhandling that snake and it was going up his like neck a whole bunch and it yeah. looked like there, I kept there trying was to that one scene where the yeah. guy was like uh, uh, stone still as tarantulas and, and yeah. snakes oh, are yeah. crawling on yeah, him yeah, out of yeah. a drawer yeah. at his desk yeah. and everything, yep. which yeah. is creepy enough. Yep. Boom. Yeah, so it's like, bitch. when you sign up for you know being in this movie, you're like no, you you're, waive you're, all your rights. Yeah, yeah. all your rights. Yeah. I really can't imagine the amount of money that I would accept to be in a movie like this. What's mm-hmm. the, how close have you been to a snake? What's the last? What's like the closest you've been to a glass snake? or anything? You ever get close? Um, ever, do you so just dodge it all together? Don't even. Get my close? ex and I lived together in a little house, right? Mm-hmm. And when we broke up, I stayed in the little house. Oh, I, but, I remember this yeah, <laughs> But one day, my cat, may he rest, was like batting at something. Yeah, they do that. And it was like under a shelf. And I'm like, what you playing with, buddy? And I got down to look. The devil himself. And came <laughs> face to face with the devil. <laughs> now, granted, to like a regular person, it was just a tiny gardener snake. Sure. Like, oh, but yeah. to me, it was just pure hell on earth. Oh. And I grabbed my cat and left my house. <laughs> and and I called my later. dad like. Or I called my parents and I was crying so hard. My mom was like, Frank, she's hysterical. I can't understand what she's saying. You got to calm down. I was like, there's a snake in my house. And I freaked out. And I moved that week. I moved out of the house. You were I out. moved. I moved that week. Yeah. So you I couldn't do it. You would not have liked in my apartment where that snake just showed up in the middle of the kitchen. Yeah. Hanging out. Well, I mean, I, this one showed up in my bedroom. So, wait, so, sorry, so, yeah. wait, wait, so how did you, what what happened to that, your snake? Oh, um, um, I put a bowl on it. Okay. Uh, okay. Which, oh, which, oh, yeah, I put a bowl so you on got it. close enough. Yeah. I did get close enough to put a bowl on it before I left, um, but I didn't put a heavy bowl on it, so it got out. <laughs> she put oh, a bowl no. on it and then shotgunned it right there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my dad came over and he found it and got rid of it. Okay. Do you know how? Like, is your dad getting rid of shit and you're just like, I don't care. Just how get did, rid of it. Did oh, he I don't, just yeah, snap his neck and get rid yeah, of it? Yeah, like, to kill it. Like, <laughs> most of the time I'm like, don't kill anything, you know, like, like if, there was, if it was a mouse, I'm like, don't kill it. You no, know, like, it's I, a snake. You're just like, set it on fire if you can. Yeah, like, burn the house down. Okay. The neighborhood down. How'd everything. You get rid of your snake. I picked it up and got rid of it. I, I was because I have okay. the opposite problem with snakes, where I like them, but they don't like me. I've been bitten twice. <laughs> she, yeah, I'm like, so, I've been bit a couple yeah. times. Uh, I've gotten bit a couple times. Yeah, and but the, all the ones I were bit by were quote unquote domesticated ones. Yes. I've never been bit wait, by wait, a wild wait. snake. I've been bit by like someone's pet snake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And like I was at, I was, I was at a pet store and I was considering buying a snake, and they told me to hold the corn snakes because they're good for beginners and they're smaller, or whatever. And that one fucking bit me. And I was like, well, I'm not buying this. <laughs> motherfucker and like so it's, it's I, I'm not meant to be a snake it's, person even though I like them and then I think I told the story on the pod before about how at the roller rink one showed up in the literally in the middle of the rink one oh. like a baby gardener snake and I put uh, in my hat or my helmet and yeah. took carry outside my helmet yeah that's what I had set in my it free. some yeah. of a bear gardener snake you just grab them by the back of the head and you yeah. take them outside yeah, yeah. I'm aware of now if we lived in like <laughs> Arizona we would be having a much different conversation True. but or where we live like it's like gar- yeah, yeah. oh yeah I have a snake story too yeah I I fought one with a Bought uh, one. Okay. Yeah. Well, it got into the. All right. We rented a house and one got into the pool area. And of course, mm. everybody is immediately uh, out of the pool and right. like on the other side. Of, and there's a snake. And I'm like, well, I guess it means I got to do something. So I go, <laughs> went and got a broom and I had thought to chase Holly that would thing, never have. Like mm-hmm. out of the. And then I went at it with a weed whacker, but oh, it no. got out. Of, it, I couldn't yeah. find it. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, that's I was ready. Yeah. Because I, thought, I chased it out and got it around the side my of the house. I thought of like, I have to do something would be set the house on fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, I was going to, like, okay, I know. I got it out of the property, but it's yeah. still hanging around the edges. Right. I'm like, and then you I don't want to know where it, you know, right. so I'm like, now I you back. don't. Now, yeah, I don't know where I lost Yeah, it, this so. is yeah. also, we're living in a world where uh, uh, at least 10 foot python got loose in my neighborhood yes. and no one found it. Yep, and it's been like six months, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I that could still show up. Not only has no one found it, there hasn't been any sightings no, ever. No, not one. It was just, it was gone. So like, I, think the, I think the alligator in the sewer ate the snake. Yeah. And then we're good though. Well, hey, remember not that long ago, Chicago did have that alligator living in that pond it did. in the apartment Love complex. That Chance the Snapper. Yeah, Chance the <laughs> yeah, Snapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> okay, forgot, so everybody. <laughs> everybody was rooting for him to stay free, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. love him. We're just caught. like, let him go. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. Just but keep he won't survive on. winter, though. He no, he won't. Yeah. 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 Oh, I forget yeah. about I that, that we have changing but weather here. wouldn't it be great if, like, Chicago just came together and everyone, like, shared yeah. custody? Yeah. Dude, right? Who takes us for the winter? Like, the glass home pet. Yeah. Glass room pet. Yeah. I this week. Yeah. Everyone just takes care of the city alligators. We're going tonight, Holly. We have a snake here. I would I would run out of the house. I Absolutely. I would I leave. I believe it. And I wouldn't come back. <laughs> so we all have snakes. Yeah. We've all had clo- mm-hmm. up close and, oh, yeah. and personal encounters with the yes. beast, mm-hmm. the reptile. Yes. Um, the devil himself. The, you know, there is a movie where there is a snake who is, it's called uh, like Jaws of Death. And it's one oh, of these no. 70s movies where oh, like someone yeah. brings a snake. Yeah, okay. But it's, it turns out it's, it's the devil. Oh. In snake form? It's like ca- okay. the car, cool. but it's the snake. Wait, Jaws what? of the, I think it's called Jaws of Death. Cool. I actually <laughs> have it in uh, on well, a double feature like disc. Sounds like it needs to come like, to the I feel like every then. snake movie after that, including this one, looking at the poster that's behind the thing, it mentions Jaws just because yeah, it was Jaws, a big yeah, thing yeah, because yeah, that was a thing. Um, uh, Colin, I think you mean Jaws of Satan. Jaws of Satan. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Oh, right. It's a little more obvious. What does this poster look like? Oh, it's. Hold on, this poster. If it doesn't have jaws awesome. and red lettering, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty Ooh. sure I have that. All right, yeah, <laughs> it's like okay, one of those midnight movie right. double jaws feature. Of that looks yeah. cool. The poster Hell alone yeah. looks cool. Uh, I, might, I might be on board with that. <laughs> yeah, that one so you, cool. you cool. say that. Great, I want that poster. It now. looks very metal. It yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It very much does. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so this movie, uh, it's a '70s uh, production, and it stars. "Quote unquote Red Brown," but it also it starts oh, other it people. Okay, so yeah. did you, did, was this sold to you? Is like I think because I think what happened. I oh. saw a clip of this because on the Universal Monsters streaming channel, okay. mm-hmm. and Red Brown. I, of course, I see the Red Brown section of sure, the movie, sure. so I'm like, "Hey, Red Brown is like mm-hmm. in this movie," and so I'm like, "Hey, I saw that movie mm-hmm. has Red Brown in it, and Red Brown around these quarters." Is a legend. It's a guy folk hero. <laughs> yeah, folk hero. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. And he, and he uh, exhibited a lot of his uh, violent innocence. <laughs> yeah, here yes. tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It he felt did. like. Although this was his first movie. This is his first movie. Yeah, this it was, was more malicious in this movie, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were uh, employing the, he's the jock who just oh, likes yeah. to intimidate brute, and beat yeah. people. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it is. I, he was, the sound of I that. like the sound of that. <laughs> you're a <laughs> Neanderthal. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Well, um... And yeah, so, so he became Captain America in the TV series, mm-hmm. he didn't but that know. was several years after this. Yep. Uh, we know we, him as Yor. Of Check course. out our episode on Yor. Uh, mm-hmm. The war night, movie. Cr- night. Strike Commando. Strike, Strike Commando. Night yeah. Yeah. Creature. Whoa, Night Claws. Which one? Night was Claws. Night Claws. Yep. And okay. the Howling 2. Two yep. Your sister is a werewolf. Ha! <laughs> he's a fucking legend. He's yes. a great man. Dude, yeah, so he's already so I can meet you on the wall. He feels of, like a uh, patriot. Fame. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but he it turns out is not the actual star no, of the movie. He's not, unfortunately. Um. It's Struther Martin. It's, it's, it's we uh, the three main characters: Struther Martin, uh, Dirk Benedict, and Heather Menzies. All right, I know who okay. they all are because I'm Jen uh, X. So <laughs> I remember these people. So. Uh, Dirk Benedict, yes. right? Do you know who he is? No. He was yeah. like a big star when I was a kid because uh, he was... He was really familiar. He was Starbuck in the original Battlestar oh, Galactica. Oh, okay. And he was face in the A-Team. He was face. face. There we <laughs> okay, go. he was face. <laughs> yeah. All right. And Heather Menzies... I didn't know this until I looked her up, but so apparently weird. she was in <laughs> yeah. uh, The Sound of Music. I've never she seen was one of the, the, the Von Trapp children. Okay. I've never and, seen that. There's um, like nine of them, right? Yeah, there's nine of them. Yeah. But she sang, okay. but you would remember her from Piranha, Joe Dante's nice. Piranha. Okay, so yeah. she likes a creature feature as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Struther Martin, of course, like... Um, He's famous for Cool Hand Luke because he's the... Oh, he's the guy! Yeah, he's the one who says What the, we have here is a failure to communicate. Yep, that's yeah. him. Okay, I was wondering, like, I know this guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Just know, take away the mustache, put some sunglasses on him, and that's the guy. He's also yeah, the yeah. horse trader in the original True Grit. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. all right. Yeah. That's I mean, he's right. been in tons of stuff. Right, yeah. You know, Butch Trump Cassidy in the Senate. He was yes, in the Wild name, Bunch. Like, I, I mean, he's been, yeah, yeah, tons of stuff. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Makes but sense. But he's the star of the movie. Indeed. And so who does he play? He plays... 
uh, I was like, wait, which one are you talking about? You're talking about Dr. Stoner? Dr. Dr. Stoner, Stoner, yes. Okay. He plays Dr. Stoner, the uh, herpetologist? Yep. Yes. A gentleman. Um, no, he has sinister energy. <laughs> like, it, no man. A gentleman could, with sinister energy. Yeah, yes. he. Like, we were talking off mic how you don't, before this, that you don't put Danny Houston in a movie unless he's like clearly evil, right? This guy <laughs> sure, is the sure. same template of you don't cast him in a movie unless he's clearly evil. And yeah, Dr. Stoner, uh, which is funny. Clearly up to is something, but yes. Very mm-hmm. evil. He's Dr. Stoner. Mm-hmm. He is uh, a man who has students that disappear. Yes. Yes. Um, it's her pathology much- museum on the hill above town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> much like uh, what was the black and white movie we watched with uh, City of the Dead? Yep. And what, City of the Dead. Yep. Where students disappear. Yep. And they have to go yeah. Like he's yep. he's Frankenstein with snakes. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a Snake scene. He even mentions yeah. that. I think at certain <laughs> yeah. point, it's like, what do you think I am, a Frankenstein? Yeah. <laughs> there's a scene at the beginning of the movie, right? That kind of like sets. You don't know what's really happening, but there's a meeting yeah. between two men. Yes. Right. Uh, loading a big crate with some kind of animal in it Moaning. into a, uh, a a truck, and we're like, "Well, it's in the movie's called S-s-s-s-. so mm-hmm. it's a big giant snake or something." We never see what it is. No, no but we- one of one of my biggest problems with this movie, aside from the snakes, is all of the whimpering. A lot of yeah, whimpering. there's so much whimpering, and it's from, really from, unsettling. Uh, human snake hybrids to just snakes themselves. They give the Everything snake sounds making- in this movie. They don't make. Yeah, in snakes nature. don't like- make these sounds. They don't, they don't roar. They don't, they I don't think they, they roar. Don't, they don't roar. They don't, <laughs> I can, they don't go. Yeah. Ah, ah, I, yeah, ah. I can honestly say I don't really know what snakes sound like, other than like a, maybe a hiss or yeah. something. But or I, like a spit. Yeah, I, I don't but, know what they sound like, but yeah. I can't imagine it's this. Yeah, and yeah. Yep, there's, there's scream, lots of yeah. whimpering, and I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. This part made me think, though. This is like such a horror movie trope that I kind of love. Is you ever think about, or has anyone made a movie about? the delivery company that has to carry these crates of like venomous snakes or like monsters or any movie that starts with a delivery on a dock that is cursed. Hard ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes, yeah. yes, yes. But I yeah. guess like, I don't know. They're the unsung heroes of these movies, right? They're doing a dangerous fucking job for what? Minimum wage? The, like there's, cr- the crate movers? Yeah, the, the crate the movers. Like, like, because could, uh, Have you ever had to move a crate of live snakes an important at your job? job you know? Because I've seen plenty yeah. of movies that start with uh, an idiot crate mover dropping yeah, a crate. Yeah, Wishmaster. Yeah. Right, and then something gets loose, and <laughs> yes. then it's just like, that's the start of the whole fiasco. Yep, yep. yep. Hard so the bad ones, yeah. yeah. That's yes. very true. My brother yeah. used to work at Speedy Delivery, uh-huh. and he said that they had to deliver uh, different animals of sorts. Oh, Gross. No. So the movie should be about Speedy Delivery, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the the initial setup, right, that kind of sets this up is that he's having some kind of uh, backhanded dealing with mysterious uh, people, yes. right? And then in the next scene, I think we're told basically like his research assistant has gone missing and he needs yeah. another one and he has an in with the uh, local college. And so he needs to recruit from the student body mm-hmm. an assistant. Yep. We're like, well, what happened to the other assistant? Mm-hmm. Could it tie into that opening scene? Stay I tuned. We'll, I think we'll find out. Um, so we're introduced to, um, I don't remember Dirk Benedict's character's name. David? David. 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 And he is uh, an innocent, right? He's yeah. come yeah. to mm-hmm. school to learn about herpetology from mm-hmm. a professor who apparently teaches about snakes. Mm-hmm. Yep. But this guy looks like Walter Matthau, you said, and he's kind of Walter skeevy. Matthau, Oliver Platt, Oliver Platt, and uh, what's his name? Oh, Matt um, Moody. Yeah, uh, uh, Brennan, Gleason. Brennan, Brennan Gleason, Gleason, Gleason yeah. all yeah. rolled into one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He hits on the student body, it's also. Gross. The, 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 yeah, the one yeah, student it's gross. body. Yep. yep. And um, there's so, two there's two women in this movie, and they're both very off putting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? what are you saying? They're annoying. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. They're yeah. really yeah. annoying. They're, they're, they're super not. annoying. Okay, the first girl I'll grant you is very annoying. They're both annoying. The, this yeah. is Reb Brown's girlfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so why don't you like Snake Girl? She's annoying. Okay. How old are you, lady? And why are you letting your dad control your life like yeah. this? You seem too old to And be why a- is your face yeah. like that? Yeah, she- <laughs> the way Sean the way Sean felt about Mia Kirshner in the crow. Change too. your face. Change your face. Change your face. That's how I feel about her uh, in this Heather, movie. Heather Menzies yeah. makes you rest. Change your yeah. face. That was um, my favorite moment yeah. last week. Change your face. Do something different. 
I hope so... Colin just posts for the social media that same face every day for the whole week. You wouldn't have to search too hard for that screen cap. <laughs> yeah. Change your face. Does it seem like the character is written younger than she's played? Yeah. yeah. How old I mean, is she yeah, supposed to be? At 50? All right, right. I don't know. But, all right, but also, this is 1973. I have a very hard time gauging how old That's she actually true. is. That's true. So I have you no be, idea. You could be 18 or 50. Could, yeah. right, everything could be appropriately aged yeah. and whatever. I would not know. That's There's a subreddit called 13 or 30. And it's people oh, no. <laughs> It's people who post like pictures of themselves and that look both 13 and 30 at the same time. And I feel like that's what everybody in the 70s no. looked like. Yeah. I have, a, fr- I have a, 30. Yeah. I have a friend who, like, we used to work together. Like, she brought her picture from third grade <laughs> to work oh, and it was, like, sitting at my desk. And my other friend comes up. She's like, why do you have a picture of your mom on your desk? <laughs> it was a picture of her in third oh, no. grade. <laughs> and that's how old she looks. Yeah. Why do you have a picture glasses. of your mom? I, I see glasses, shoulder pads, big hair. Yeah. Yes. Blouse yeah. for yes. some reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. Big hair, the glasses. Yeah. She yeah. looked like she was like 45 years old. Yeah. We, and she was in yeah. third grade. We, we lived in uh, <laughs> troubling times. Well, Ooh. why? Uh, so, you know, obviously something has happened to the previous uh, yeah. assistant. Um, so what does uh, the doctor stoner, what is, what is he up to? What does he want in a research? And this is the father of. Heather Menzies, the woman with the yeah, changeable face. Forgot her name with the punchable face. Yeah, that's his daughter. <laughs> they both daughter. live in this house up on the hill. Where they do a snake show every day. Every weekend. To, to, every, every, yeah, it's every money. Sunday, I think. Yeah, they got to yeah. bring in some money. he needs the uh, grant money from the school to continue mm-hmm. his research because he's on the cusp of the big one. What is the big one? <sighs> well, yeah, okay, what yeah. Is, yeah, what is he researching? Is, like, I mean, other than just like. For like thirty years, yeah, says. right, yeah. Like this has been ongoing. Like clearly, we know what he's actually doing, but what is he telling them he's doing? Well, right. He told us he, he's trying to find. Um, uh, well, he's trying to make it? sure like, nobody what? can get bit by a snake and die. Basically, yeah, no. he's trying to develop like the anti venom from <sighs> like the most. What do you got? He's what got an it? apocalyptic uh, worldview. He believes that fuel prices are going to oh. like go. Nobody will be able to afford them in fifty years. The world is going to cool, and so we need to evolve. And in order oh. to do that. So he's right. And then, and then <laughs> yeah. he said that, and then nobody asked a question. Yeah, because yeah. Dirk Benedict, he's years. telling Dirk Benedict, like, yes, because this is what's going to happen. <laughs> they just like, well, well he's like, a oh, well. scientist, so yep. sure. Right, he's yeah. a scientist, and that all sounds great. Mm-hmm. Let's give him some money. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, he wasn't wrong about the future, but he also right. didn't have anything, like, helpful. Right. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he had a, well, his research is pointing him at, he's going to, he's going to make the next evolution of uh, uh, humans happen mm-hmm. by cooling them down. Yes, mm-hmm. as you do with mm-hmm. reptile DNA, and right. even more. It turns out because this movie is the first human centipede. <laughs> oh no, it's why? the first tusk. Why? why? It is the first tusk. Okay. Yeah, I would say tusk. Yes, yeah. human centipede. No. Yeah. So the nefarious dealings begin with uh, inoculations, right? Mm-hmm. Because we get a tour of the all the snake uh, tanks. You know, mm-hmm. he has. Every species, I think, from around the world, the black mamba, mm-hmm. the king cobra, yep. the python mm-hmm. named Stanley. What was Harry, it? Harry. Harry. That is the house snake. That yeah. gets to be loose all the time and drinks whiskey every day. Yeah, whiskey Because drinking. you can't deny an old man his nip. Because the snake is six a direct years quote years from the movie. Yeah. How dare you <laughs> deny an old man his, his nip. nip? And like we see close ups of this snake <laughs> lapping. A brown Drowning in whiskey. Yes. I would say drowning. Because yeah, yeah. there's air bubbles coming up it's, going, help me. <laughs> the lengths they went to to get the shots in this movie. Mad respect. <laughs> this movie yeah. might be as dangerous, if not more so, than Roar. Like, this, <laughs> yeah. it's up there. I, yeah, they never, I'd, rather, I'd rather be in Roar. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. yeah, yeah they never drowned a, a lion yeah. in whiskey in yeah. that movie. That's a python, right? That they said, it's not a yeah, boa, it's, it's a, a python. Yeah, yeah, it's a python. Um... Okay, so Harry has a, an interesting life. As we said, he, he gets to ride around in the car. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he goes wearing. for yeah, yeah, uh, a day companion. trips. Uh, he he sleeps with them. Yeah, yeah, he does uh, like a bed. Which, they, they read to him. If, if your snake, Holly, you brought this up, I'm glad you brought it up. If your snake shows up yeah. next to you in bed, you need to be concerned. Yeah, this be- is this is a legit thing. Mm-hmm. Like cuz they're talking about how the snake isn't eating and it like sleeps next to them. That is actually your snake about to kill you. It's measuring you to make yeah. sure it can ingest you. Yes. <laughs> if your if your snake yes. stops eating and is like cuddling up against yes. you at night, you are about to die. Yep. yep. That so is real. That's why you listen to the Saturday mm-hmm. Night Freak yeah. Show. Uh, know? Ladies, I know. Yeah. So Sean, since that one's loose in your neighborhood, <laughs> you feel a snake cuddling with you. 
it's well, well yeah. Well, concern. now I'm gonna freak out and throw my cat across the room when I wake up in the middle of the night. It's like ah, he felt scaly. <laughs> well, Sean's gonna be like, I know this is dangerous, but it's so nice to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to have someone who wants to cuddle. <laughs> I'm for it. A little just, cold, just but just strangle you know, the next. Yeah, a little cold. That's fine. Um, so the in the Dead lab, the next morning with a smile on my face. He, uh, the the doctor tells us that like he has had so much anti venom over time that you know he's like immune he's crazy. to a lot of the yeah. uh, snake bites. Yes, but he also has the fail safe, which is the mongoose in a cage. Mm -hmm. uh, he shows us the interaction between the mongoose mm -hmm. and the king cobra by bringing the mongoose this cage. This poor up mongoose to is the just cobra. a nervous this wreck. Poor of weasel. Whole movie. Yeah. yeah, he just wants out of that cage because yeah. he's surrounded by. Snakes. But he's prey. He's like, I could murder all these motherfuckers. Right? Won't and let me no out. one's yeah. letting me yeah. out. Yeah. I, I do like him. that he's a break in case of emergency <laughs> mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be that would be a joke in like um, airplane. Where yeah, walking yes. along a wall and yes. they walk. There's an axe. No, no, that is a... that is a joke in snakes on a plane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Come on. Uh, Jake, uh, uh, snakes on a plane was not as jokey as that. Unfortunately, it, no, that's too yeah, serious. That was its problem. That yeah. was its problem. It was its problem. Uh, a breaking case of emergency mongoose would be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's yeah. a great idea. Well, um, the uh, the so the the process, right? Which we're not privy to, but I mean, you can pick up on it pretty quick uh, based on uh, Doctor Stoner's uh, life philosophy. Right? Mm -hmm. Begins with a series of inoculations for young David. Yes, right. As a new assistant, and you're going to be around all these snakes. We need to make sure that you will not die. Yep. So that's the the ruse, right? Is yes. you're gonna I'm gonna inject you with a little bit of cobra venom, and so you'll be you know immune to it. Mm. And then David starts I having heard, all heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna what, give you a little bit of venom. What was the first? It was like you know they they go to they have dinner down in, in the dining room. And David's like, whoa, I feel really sleepy. Yep. And the doctor tells him. Like, well, you're going to sleep really well tonight. And maybe, because, and maybe the next day. Yeah, because the, the it turns out King Cobra Venom is one of the most powerful hallucinogens of all time. And this then. This is all coming after the fact, after he's like injects him and then he tells him all this shit later. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, and he has the most boring out. acid trip ever put to film, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what, was he seeing like the. Like he sees the creation of the earth, he sees the, the, a Lucifer falling. But it's all very from close heaven. up, like weird, yeah. distorted shots. He sees a woman's leg that turns like, into a sunset, and yeah, and lips uh, and noses. Lips, and stuff. Yeah. I think yeah. that's like human beings evolving right sure, from yeah. the primordial yeah, yeah. stew, and then mm. it ends with like waves crashing against the shore. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Um, Interesting. But that's yeah. the first of uh, many changes that are going to befall poor young David. So what's the evolution uh, out of his metamorphosis that's happening here? He, uh, he starts feeling cold. His skin like, sheds. His skin, yeah, he his starts skin, peeling. Yes, he it's does. gross. His skin sheds. And they even say it's like a sunburn on the inside. <laughs> that's, that's how what it's venom described. is it's like, like. That sounds uh, horrible. Okay, Stephanie Meyer did a better job at describing like the vampire, vampire. transformation yeah. Yeah. than that. Yeah. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come across my too goodness. well. Yeah, yeah it's like eat. a sunburn on the inside. What the fuck does that mean? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't I mean, get nothing, it because yeah. he, he's, he's on the outside. He's peeling on the outside. If he was... If, if lining was coming up from if his he was mouth, like vomiting up stuff, yeah, right, yeah, I would understand thing, yeah. that. But no, it's just peeling. Yeah. So maybe it's know. like you know when you have an itch, but it's like not on the surface yeah, of your skin. It's like, it's yeah. like in deep. there. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's what he was trying to go mm -hmm. for, and it just didn't work. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll go with that. So there is so that. This some. I mean, he, he's messing with himself as he's looking in the mirror. And I think there's subtle changes that people, you know, it's like you look. A what are different. we supposed to be seeing? I don't think anything. You know what I no. thought? Maybe they I feel like I was being gaslit by this. Movie yeah, because I was looking at him. I'm like, is he different? But because people would would say that about him, I think maybe. They had mentioned something about like his nose is flattening and did, whatever. Yeah. So I think maybe they shoved something up his nose to, you know, do well, there, something with the bridge subtle. of his nose. Yeah, but there it was, was very subtle. There was a moment when Dr. Stoner is walking along and like doing his tape recorder, like a, like taking his notes. Yeah. And he does say um, physical changes are starting to happen, but it'll be a while before they're noticeable to everyone. Okay. So, then they'll be cataclysmic. Yeah. He did say cataclysmic. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, Which I was really hoping for, like, human with snake tongue. 
Like, I really right, want yeah, to yeah, yeah, out of yeah, a yeah, human. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, they could have pulled this off yeah. in this movie. Yeah. They should have. Mm-hmm. We didn't get that. No. no. All right. So the screws start tightening because uh, unforeseen things are happening. Number one, there is a police investigation. And number two, there's a romance happening. So tell me about the police investigation. A couple cops come to the ranch. <laughs> the snake ranch uh, <laughs> because they heard they got a letter from the previous assistant assistant's mom that he has gone missing. Mm. And so they're mm-hmm. investigating. Suspicious. And this is something that has kind of been happening. Mm-hmm. Students mm-hmm. disappearing who have come to work for him. Have they said, did they say that? Or I just don't know this if one? they necessarily have. They were going for this one. Yeah. But I can't believe this is the only one. Right. The first one. There was a blue eyed guy named uh, Tim McGraw. Tim, mm-hmm. Tim McGraw. Yeah, Tim McGraw. That was, <laughs> took me out of the movie for Tim a minute. McGraw. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, because even the daughter knows him, and she's like, "Where'd he go?" Yes. You know, mm-hmm. I think his dad is dying. Mm-hmm. I thought she said his dad was dead. Mm-hmm. Or, You're know, right. I it thought... was his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. cops Great are like, save. "Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, bravo." <laughs> yeah, and um, I guess uh, how do, how do we think uh, the Doctor Stoner subterfuge was uh, holding up here? Because he talks to all these people when they show up, right? Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, because basically he's a psychopath. That mm-hmm. right. Right. Uh, he's crazy, but he's able to convince these cops. So sociopath. Okay, sociopath. In which he's able to talk to everyone, basically talk them out of their thoughts, conspiracies, or whatever they're thinking is happening up there. You know? Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. He's like a, a gentle old guy. You yeah. know, He's like, uh, I don't know if you call him charming. It's like your creepy old uncle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He seems harmless. You don't ask he too many questions. He oozes evil, I feel like. <laughs> See, Michaela's like, yeah, like, like, evil. all over this guy. He's like, like a villain. Like, yeah. that guy's just the way he shit. talks and shit. He just, he's got villain energy. But, yeah. Michaela's the, the, the German shepherd to the term. <laughs> She's like, I know what that fucker's doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bark at him. Well, he's always yeah. talking in a way that's like, you know, calming. But it's after, it's re- you know, it's like... Uh, you know, my, my skin burns. Oh, don't worry. That's just a side effect of the, you know, whatever. Yeah. He's it's always, like, he's, it's like got, he's always walking away mid conversation. Yeah, yeah. I've got scales something. all over my stomach. Insides feel like they're rearranging like, themselves. Oh, I shouldn't stay in the sun too long. <laughs> yeah. I did find him endearing when he was reading the book of Genesis to Henry. The <laughs> no, he was reading poetry. Poetry. It was, poetry. It was poetry. Walt Whitman. He was reading Walt Whitman. He said something oh, earlier sorry. about the book of Genesis, but yeah, he, did, yes. he was reading Walt Whitman to the snake. Yeah. As a bedtime story, and they were cozied up on a and chair the snake together. Was reading along. Yes, it was. That was adorable. <laughs> that was pretty so, cute. Even I thought yeah. that was cute. Yeah. <laughs> and and this is coming from the woman who was just m- kind of melting down through the entire movie. Yeah, yeah. I had a breakdown. Sure, for Understandable. sure. I'm not over it. <laughs> so the the cops are closing in. There's a disappearance, and it's like, oh, maybe you know. And then uh, um, uh, Dirk Benedict and, or David and uh, what is her name? <laughs> Yep, what Sally. Chris. Yeah, that's exactly what Chris, I, Christine. Chris. Is it Chris? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are getting cozy, and they do that Christine. by uh, yeah. going skinny dipping. Oh, this yes, whole they're... scene okay, is weird. If you agree to skinny dipping, you're agreeing to letting the other person see you naked. That is the, that like, is skinny dipping. That is dipping. the nature of skinny dipping. Yep. Yeah. So you can't agree to it and then be don't like, look. don't look. It, don't oh. look. Yeah, it's like... Oh. It, just don't I'm do it. Yeah. No, I don't know. And that's that's but, the scene for five, five, six minutes, is that? Right. You know? But if you don't want them to look, you know what you can do? Superimpose yeah. leads over your camera. <laughs> yeah. Years before Eyes Wide Shut, they <laughs> right, superimpose the old. And people and shit. <laughs> yeah. Here we just have leaves on the camera. <laughs> really shitty looking leaves. Just not, too, yeah, yeah, just like, ah, we didn't want them to see things. Yeah, because yeah. it was shot, I guess, for an R rating or something, and then they... It was shot like, for for to be what it was, and they're just like, eh, PG. Yeah. I mean, it's a very innocent and wholesome scene. The, I, get, I think the um, the idea there was... Uh, Adam and she, Eve. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, if we're going with um, that scene, that's a That's theme. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And um, also... She can't see, I guess, without her glasses. This is a plot point that I think will come in later. Or it helps to obscure what's happening to him. Right? Because we see from her point of view and everything's all blurry. Why does he have a snake peen at this point? <laughs> Don't know. She's because she look different. You I, know? Yeah. See, that would have made the movie If it started there. Yeah. Snake penis. That's where this yeah. Yeah. But, but all I see is just a penis that has a little slithering tongue that comes out. <laughs> right. I don't know what it looks like, so that's what I'm seeing too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's normal, right? 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you should get that checked <laughs> out. So <laughs> okay. scales are also normal, right? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they, what's wrong with me? They, uh, um, um, as they're you know, part of their courtship, right? Mm. They go to um, the big event that's taking place in town, and that is the oh. carnival, the fun house. They, take mm. they drive up on it accidentally. Oh, a carnival! I know. Because I love it when you just discover a carnival in town. <laughs> Yeah. I got so excited because we don't have enough horror movies with carnival scenes. Yeah, anymore. I love well, a good yeah, carnival. We've seen, some good, we've seen some good ones though. Uh, whatever it was, where the the um, uh, the pincushion and the guy who eats glass. I forgot what movie it was. I don't remember movie? that. The guy who eats glass, where he ends up like shooting all the glass out of his body. I don't later remember on that. What, was, what was that? I think it was. Uh, oh, it was the one with Terry Kaiser and the voodoo. Uh, oh, uh, it was and, and, and the with, multi-story with the, thing. with the baby. The baby comes the back. I brought that, didn't I? Yep. You did. Or from the, a whisper to a scream. Yes, yes. whisper to yeah. a scream I with the Kugulger, where he impregnates the, the dead woman, and yeah. the baby, nine months later, the baby comes back and is yeah. like, ah! Yes. Yes. <laughs> the look of bewilderment on Holly's face right now, it's like she's never I even heard of something like this. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't remember the song. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. Huh. Well, so at the carnival, <laughs> right? Uh, mm-hmm. There's a carnival barker, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's, we recognize him as the man from earlier, from the very first scene in the movie, who was taking uh, possession of a something in a crate that was mm-hmm. making whimpering noises. Will we find out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think is. that guy hailed uh, Doctor Stoner as a genius. Genius, You're the first man I've ever met who's an yes, the man genius. who runs a freak show would. Yeah, right. Yeah, genius. it's like okay, low. That's a low yeah, bar. So, so, oh, okay. you know. Now we know how to judge that right. statement. There's a bunch of um, yeah. So th- I mean, you have the carnival rides and the midway, and then you have, this is why I'm, I miss the you know, county fairs. They're just not the same. Then you have not. you have freak the show. freak show and the burlesque show. Yes. right. Mm-hmm. We, it's all part of it. Should we be doing live show? Okay, we're t- we're going to talk about that. <laughs> should we, should we be doing live shows as the freak show from? Carnivals now? Yes. No, because no one's going to come watch show. that. If there's a burlesque show and a lizard we man. put another head on you, Michaela. They'll all come running. You just. <laughs> like, the last thing people want to see is a live podcast compared to those two. We'll no, offer, we're going to get a we'll gator boy. We'll a $1,000 bill. A crisp <laughs> one thousand. If you can prove. We'll, that... get, we'll make like a joint sweater so it looks like you two are twins. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, love, we'll I mean, we, we saw Nightmare Alley. We saw how they faked all this shit. So yeah. we can do it. Yeah. All right. I was stoned out of my mind during that. Yeah. I don't remember that movie at all. That's, there was a lot of magnets involved. <laughs> magnets? Yeah. Remember like all the rings and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was all yeah. magnets yeah. and shit. Yeah. yeah. It, the movie was a disappointment. Yeah. Well, at the carnival, um, D- David ends up finding- Azazel, the man with two noses. Yeah, that's right. He's that's yeah. the big draw. Yeah, yeah. It looked well, no, like no. it looked like the, a magazine cut out on his face. Right. <laughs> it really did. It was a very small extra nose. Yeah. Oh, who are we putting on the wall? Is it the man with two noses? There's two sure people so. going on oh, on the okay, wall. Okay. Thanks Colin to so MF Mad. Do, MF Mad is doing the Lord's work Thank here. You. Yes, we he appreciate Thank it. you, sir. So, um, first of all, Noble Craig, uh, who played oh. Tim McGraw, the Snake Man, ah, uh, okay. which I guess I just spoiled what they find at the uh, at the carnival. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, he was also the sewer monster in Big Trouble in Little China. What? Yeah. Okay, That's Panthers. awesome. He was also the puddle soldier in the blob. The puddle soldier is the one who's like half there because oh, they like uh, yeah. you know oh, the, the blob dissolves him. half yes. of them. Okay, like, help me, help me, right? All right, right. Him. this guy and, loves an effect because uh, I'm assuming he has some kind of uh, injury or you know. Right. Um, yeah. And oh yeah, because he cause doesn't seem like he has all his limbs. He's an amputee. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. And Felix Silla. Right, who was Sam Lee, the Seal Boy in I, <laughs> Nice. Right. I don't remember seeing the Seal Boy, but okay. You may remember him as the little critter in House. Oh. I uh, okay. no, I don't remember that. But nope. he was also but Miss like Quimacus in the Manitou. Nice. Oh. Wow. Wait, who, don't give who? much Manitou. Miss Quimacus. So that was the okay. little yeah, Indian yeah. guy yeah, yeah. who showed yeah, up yeah. at the Yeah. yeah. Okay. All he right. was the cool. Manitou that grew wow. on her neck. Yeah. I gotta okay. watch that movie again. That movie, yeah. watch it again. No, that movie was bad. She crazy. flew, flew down the stairs, <laughs> across. <laughs> Tony Curtis in the <laughs> that one time. <laughs> she flew, flew down the stairs. I still can't Wasn't, believe Tony didn't Curtis. Didn't that movie in that end movie? with them opening a door and it was like a snowy world? Yeah, they okay. froze the whole hospital. Yeah, yes, there was yeah. lasers out yes. in the. 
They were Space. in like a different universe. Yeah, that yeah. That, yeah. Movie, yeah, that was, movie was, was nuts. Something. No, there was a yeah, there was a seance because they were using the energy of computers to beat the <laughs> Manitou that was there growing was a salt on her circle. neck. It was yeah. Miss Quamacus. I, I could not believe Tom. The witch doctor, uh, uh, movie. fucking Burgess Mayer that showed up in the middle of that movie. <laughs> yeah. Greatly, God yeah. bless him. Wow. Hey, remember the seance with the thing coming out yeah. of there? Okay. okay. What a this movie. Is a digress. Uh, movie. <laughs> so oh my God. they find uh, Tim McGraw. Well, no, so I guess we don't know that <laughs> yet. But Cowboy there's a there's a there's a blue eyed snake man yep. flopping around in the in and the, it is the, reminiscent of the freaks like Chicken Lady. I feel yeah. Like. yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. like they're going for that iconography, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yep. Yeah, and so. Uh, David, of course, doesn't. He's like, wow, there really is like a guy, but he's also like, oh man, you know, he feels a weird connection with, with the the snake boy. Doesn't There's, he? I think okay. he did. There was those scenes where he was. His they reaction. implied they had sex. What they implied that he that David had sex with that snake. Remember, oh, there was the that snake. scene earlier where uh. he wakes up. Shirtless on the bed, and the snake is on the bed next to him. And Smoking they a this, cigarette? Yeah. You're right. And then they, <laughs> you're right. They, they were that, implying. They have that scene where they're staring at each other and have like almost like a psychic connection, and he smiles, and it's like, you know, they're having mind uh, sex now. Like, <laughs> mind sex. Yeah. His little tail comes around to grab the cigarette to take it out. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened in this movie. We already have a snake sm- drinking whiskey. Why not smoking? Right? Why not smoking? Uh, Playing you, poker. You wanted, mm-hmm. You stuck a pin, pin in the burlesque show? Oh, the burl- yeah, uh, 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 the good old days of carnivals when they had a burlesque show as yep. well that you could go to. Yep. But this was all the uh, Red Brown's loving it. But yeah, this is like a, a Red Brown scene where he becomes. I mean, Red <laughs> he's Brown, the brute that he is. He, he is. He's just a just a, a just a big dude, uh, uh, horny and angry. Yes. Yeah, I think is mostly his full motivation. of testosterone. Full yeah. of testosterone. His yeah. friends get like she'll do it for ten bucks. You know, I never He's had like, to pay. Right. It's like I'm not paying. Never had to. Hasn't she oil. seen my clippings? The cli- <laughs> uh, that line was no. I like she that. Know like, who I am? Like no, she doesn't, she doesn't know who you are. She hasn't seen your clippings. And they're just like, wow, we're doing a lot of work here. <laughs> yeah, There's one yeah. line of dialogue. Right now, Red Brown. Because we've... there's no, there's no, uh, nothing has said that he would have clippings. Right to we this point. So we have to him. guess as to yeah. what it would be. And it's just like, oh, he's a college athlete. I would assume he's right. just a big dude. Right. Yeah, and he's yeah. with the football guys or whatever. Yeah, we've established he's a bully because yeah. in the hallway earlier on, uh, he that was when he's like, I don't know what that means, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it. And uh, then uh, at the uh, carnival, there's also a confrontation between these guys, right? Mm-hmm. Over uh, the girl, over yeah, Christine. Yeah, he gives her a doll and he's like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, and then David comes back up and he's like, what's going on? And Red Brown starts throwing, picking him up and throwing him across the room. <laughs> I mean, like, it's the stunt work, but he's throwing yeah. Dirk Benedict around the. Yeah. I was yeah, going to say around the room, great. but it's outdoors. Red Brown's big dude. Yeah. So and then, yeah, because the he's end? now been rejected mm-hmm. by uh, uh, Christine, mm-hmm. right? He uh, won't entertain the idea of going backstage with the burlesque girl. He is no. going to drive out drunk to her house <laughs> yeah. and drunk. climb through her window. Yeah, up a trellis, a trellis. Which trellis. this led to a whole discussion that you don't see trellises like this on houses like you did in what the eighties no. and nineties. Yeah. Like, no. they only show up when someone needs to climb it. Yep, yep. but nobody's got trellises anymore. No. You know. Mm-hmm. So he's going to climb into her room in the middle of the night. I love that he thought this was a good idea. Yeah, he's like, hey, beautiful. Right. Like, it's me. And the snake the is The guy who rejected it. Harry is just yep. like, no. Yeah, so that's what you know. <laughs> Harry doesn't so know. So Harry sacrifices himself to save? I think yeah. Harry was Chris? just, she like, didn't she, she gave Harry some Alka-Seltzer because Harry had she, yes, yes, drank the whiskey hung over, yeah. hung over. And upset And stomach. sets yeah. him by the window. So when Reb Brown comes crawling in the window. Yeah. He gets it around his arm. Mm-hmm. And, Falls uh, back into yeah. the garden and then. It snaps its neck. Yeah. It's, Poor I Harry. I feel like they definitely Holly, actually killed the snake. I what mean, are your mixed feelings? I mean, Harry was a pet. So I understand the feeling. <laughs> I feel for but them. Also, he was a snake, so goddamn him to hell. <laughs> well, he's going to yeah. be goddamn to hell because Aww. the Harry we have built up is Strother Martin's, like, you know, oh, best yeah. friend and companion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, and now he's dead. He, he, yes. He's he's like um, from Django Unchained. 
is the Sam Jackson of the group because he shouldn't, as a snake, he shouldn't like what is going on that the doctor is doing, but he's on the doctor's side. Uh, uh, you get what I'm saying? See see the similarities? Yeah. Right I think there. at some point that he gets sick in the end of it. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's a, a big leap, a, a long walk. a big stretch. Yeah. But I'm going All for right. it. <clears throat> so this... Revenge. Yeah, is, is, revenge is, is, is the next is thing. The next. Mm-hmm. So, so how how is the doctor? <laughs> because the doctor's like, what was that boy's name? <laughs> 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 and then he just walks off fucking yep. screen. And, puts like, his, oh. and puts his black mamba in a briefcase. Yeah, he in goes, his doctor's bag, yeah. it looked like. <laughs> he yeah. Did, yeah. Popping yeah. the doctor's bag, going for a walk. This prompted an interesting thought for me. Yeah, like, what if we lived in a world where snakes were weaponized like oh, this? Oh, yeah, Michaela Good came guy. up with a hypothetical. It's like, guns are gone. It's snakes. It's <laughs> not snakes. You <laughs> point snakes, snakes at people and unleash them. That, yeah, is, right. a, that is a post-apocalyptic movie. Yeah. I will write. Yeah. I, I, I would oh. watch in theory. Oh, yeah. one thing we forgot to mention. I don't know that I could watch it. <laughs> between David and the fight at the carnival, at one point, Red Brown picks him up by the waist, and then David is just striking oh. Red Brown in oh. the neck like a snake, biting him. Yeah, biting he him. wraps his legs around him yeah. like yeah. a boa. Like, ah. Yeah, ah, it's <laughs> it's going at him like a snake. Fantastic, it's... and we don't get enough of that. <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful. It, it was goes by way too quick, and we loved it all. Yeah. So this, uh, ne- well, yeah, actually, Conan the Barbarian, right, had, mm-hmm. the, had the best like snake uh, assassin. Yes, turned it oh, into the, an arrow. Yes, oh, right. that yeah. was a good uh, arrow. Was a good one. That's the post-apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So the plan, right? Mm-hmm. Struther Martin uh, sneaks into uh, Reb Brown's apartment where he has been. He's with his girlfriend, right? Innocently taking a shower. Well, bef- even himself. before that, though, he's with his girlfriend. She's like horny as hell. She's like, baby, oh, let's yeah, go yeah. again. Yep. And he's like, baby, I'm in, I'm in training. And my yeah. coach has said I can only do it twice <laughs> while I'm in training. Yep. Twice a week, I think, is yeah. what he's limited to. Was it to. twice a week? Yeah. Twice a week or two times a day. I don't know. Yeah, two times a, a day. And so he kicks her out. And then he goes into the shower. And that's when Struther Martin comes in and in throws slow that. motion. Yeah. Throws that, that I, black, black mamba. mamba. Didn't think this movie had it in him to do yeah. slow motion <laughs> at this point. But yes, it throws a black mamba in the shower um, and, and takes... Bites Red Brown's foot. Red Brown yeah. down. Mm-hmm. We see this happen in graphic close-up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm sure Holly was appreciating as a stunt foot. Or maybe it was Red Brown. Maybe yeah. he took one for the team. Maybe. But that Who thing knows? went and just yeah. sunk its teeth into his big toe. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah. Red Brown exclaims... Forgot. It got me. It, yeah, because <laughs> Sean, Sean, because you literally said it got him, and then <laughs> a the second that. later he said it got me. <laughs> and I was just feeling dies. Red Brown at that point. It's just like, all right, yeah. yeah, he has a heart attack. Apparently, yeah. In That's case you it's... weren't clear, he's it got him because he said it. Yeah. It got me. I was curious if that was a black mamba. It looks like it. I, I mean, mean it could, I think it was. I mean, you think so? I, ooh, could be. I think it was. That's about the right color. They defanged yeah. it, or, or, it looks or like uh, that's possible, it or something. Yeah. But yeah, it's possible. Looks like it. Um, about the belt right side. It bit that dude's foot. Whoever's foot it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> or it gummed it. Whatever. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's. I think it gummed it. I don't think it had teeth. No. So in the meantime, um, David and Christine have consummated their relationship mm-hmm. because she wants to know what passion looks like. Is that what you said? I don't remember. She that said part. something. Yeah, He's like, it was something. weird. Yeah, she's like, show me. <laughs> Like, well, oh. And so they go and, and have sex in front of the fireplace. And then uh, dad comes home after killing Reb Brown and warns her, right? Mm-hmm. You can't have oh, sex yeah. with that boy. The guitar moment we missed. Because there were, apparently there was some crooning <laughs> and some, and you know. He would be that guy. He would be. Bust yeah, out the he yeah. But she, he does the dad just... thing. Like, you can't have sex with that boy. And she's like, you can't tell me what to do. And he's like, and no, like, you don't how understand. How old are you? Like, One drop of you? his blood <laughs> could be catastrophic. One drop of his Blood. Blood. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm like, this is a PG movie. Right? He can't say I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to say it, and I'm, we're spoiling, but I wanted there to be like a snake baby. I know. I was hoping you, you for You set that it too. up. Just go yeah. for it. Like, if we get the rated R movie, there's a snake dick at, yeah, cer- like, at a I certain agree. point. That's that's what I want. <laughs> that's what would, should happen. This want. is 1973. We can't expect I want everything. this movie to end with a snake baby. I know. Like the fly. Right. Sh- yeah. The yeah. Then yeah. Too. Slithers out of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 See, the, yeah, it stops too she early. She lays an egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're needed. And then, it, <laughs> and then it cracks, right? And then goes to credits. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I want. A screen. Yeah. And then the second one, there's your sequel set up. Yeah. We're doing this for you. Like, it's so easy. Come on. Um, unfortunately, we're denied that. Although the setup the is there. Should just be called sequel. So the um the 
Well, David begins exhibiting uh, because I think she, she even says like, I can't see you, but you look very different. And then he starts, you know, screaming and moaning. Well, he does wake up one morning where he looks in the mirror and he's like, oh, I'm green. Yeah. 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 It's you know? the morning after they have sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's yes. now he's, he's exhibiting right. uh, the change. I like the way that the movie. The way they shoot him. Because the they don't. They obscure his face. Yeah. They're like stuff. trying to hide it they as do. long as they can. Yep. Right. Until the uh, teacher uh, from the beginning of the movie, uh, who looks like Walter Matthau, comes to check on him and also say, your grant's been, you know, turned down, uh, Dr. Stoner. Um, But he comes and sneaks in and he sees full face, you know, what the the snake boy looks like. Oh, yeah, because he taps on, he sneaks back in and taps on the window and he's like, (sighs) Yeah, and he's become Snake Boy. He's like, oh my God, what have you done to this man? And then Dr. Stoner clocks him with a weight and locks yep. him in the basement. Yep. Or he puts a saw, puts a, puts a saw trap. trap in front of him, which yep. is what? Uh, in these boxes are two different snakes that look very much alike. One is venomous, one is not. There's a key in there. Good luck to your chains because yes. it's chained up. Yeah. Chained up. And, and I had heard this before, but it, previously in like the first act in the college course, we heard that this phrase like red touches yellow, kill a fellow. Yeah. So like that's yeah, how yeah. you know it's venomous. I had heard there's a second part to that phrase, which I thought was going to come into this movie, but never did. Uh, red touches black friend to Jack is what I always heard is uh, how you tell the difference because there's some snakes that look like each other pattern wise, right, mm-hmm. yeah, but their yeah, colors yeah. will just be in different mm-hmm. order. And they're talking so, about that one snake that yeah. I've always just like, because the red striped yeah. one, I'm just mm-hmm. like, uh, don't touch that one. Yeah. Apparently there's one you can that's similar yeah yeah mm-hmm. it's like, nah, i just don't mm-hmm. fucking touch but not if red touches yellow yeah yeah but yeah okay but what if it touches yellow? but the black? snakes in this movie aren't like the right ones for demonstrating that analogy right. because the ones that you use that for are literally like it's like bands of color so you yeah. can actually yeah. see none of that happens yeah not, you don't see those no, snakes he at gives all. them yeah. two different yeah. snakes and we're like are they the same snake right. it's the two different and he gets a key from you know but it turns out that isn't the trap anyway. The yeah, trap is that there's there. a giant python in the basement with him that <laughs> eats his shoes. Eat his yeah. shoes. It, it eats, eats him, him. But we see and eating his shoes. shoes. We eat the last part shoe. of him yeah. that it sucked into its mouth. It's greedy that little shoe mouth. shoe seems small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like, <laughs> ate that Basically. thing. There's also scenes, I think yeah. we were talking, force feeding of snakes where you like oh, shove, yeah, they a, shove the tube down their throat yeah. because they won't eat in captivity, yeah. so says the doctor. So you just, <laughs> you gotta just inject a... Tube feed them? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, um, the snake snake hypnosis dances and stuff like that. There's there, all sorts yeah, of there's, snake yeah, there's a little, stuff. There's a snake demonstration where he's you know touching the back of the snake's head and everything that happens. Yep. So now, right? I think there's also the cops are closing in because now you got a dead uh, professor. You've got a missing student, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, Christine goes back to the carnival mm-hmm. to see the snake boy because she knows something uh, is up. Right, right. And she finds Tim McGraw. Tim. <laughs> Damn. Yep. So she's like, I got to hightail it back to dad's because he, she he's doing the same thing to David. Yep. Right. She finally puts it together. And so because everything's closing in, Struther Martin's plans are now advanced. And so he has to, you know, advance this experiment to its conclusion, mm. which is what? I forgot. Well, he injects the final, the final bit of the formula. He's okay. like, this is unfortunately also the most painful. All oh, right, as he has yeah. him strapped he's got him down. Strapped down, down. Yep. This fully. is the final transformation. Right, yep. Yep. we mm-hmm. get this whole thing. Right, he does. He gives him the final injection, and then we spend the next five minutes watching this man dissolve into a snake. Yeah, he turns into a king cobra. <laughs> yep. He does. Because he's been injected with cobra venom. Yes. He does. This is how this, this works. How it works. And this is how this works. And, um, and about then, gamma radiation. Okay, and then shit. explain. So the doctor then takes out. The actual King Cobra. Yeah. What What's his plan here? Are they going to fight? No, he's going to talk to him. But I don't. He's understand. like King, Your Majesty. I have uh, there's a there's a usurper to your throne in the. In I, the... I think the uh, a showdown between snakes is what he ultimately wants. Was it? Is, I feel like that's what he wants. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, it like like. that's like yeah. what he's going for. We yeah. don't get there though because he no. brings out we don't the get King it. Cobra. Yeah. yeah. And he gets. Does the King Cobra. The King Cobra attacks him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right. Gets yeah. him a, a yeah. couple times. Yeah, he kills him. Right, mm-hmm. and then he fucking fucks off back into the well, thing. Be, well, no, you're no, right, no. because he was. No, he doesn't fuck off. The, the cops show up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, wait, right. wait, no, wait, the there, snake okay. fucks off. There was a moment mm-hmm. where no? he was talking to the King Cobra, and he said, "You know, you're the king. There is a pretender to your throne, but he can actually think 
right? The yeah. blue eyed yeah. snake yeah, can the think. Mind of a human, right? Yeah. And that's <laughs> why it's going to be better. So I think, yeah, you're right. Painted blue eyes. He's yeah. trying to get these two to fight, thinking that David is going to win because David thinks like it. You know, right. it's, an, it's another part yeah. of his experiment. Like even he's, though he's a snake, yes. yes, he's eager to find out what will yeah. happen as it's, as much as we are. It's a weird it's plan. <laughs> it's, oh, it's insane. It's a weird. Yeah. Plan. Also, but also he did just turn a man into a snake. Right. So we are on par. The logic of this movie is just nutty. Yeah, because you're gonna. Try and uh, so right the world's gonna freeze and we all need to become snakes and so he figured out a way to turn us all into snakes is that yeah, I guess seem, uh, I don't know going with here yeah. actually sad. if the world's gonna freeze it would be worse to be snakes because they yeah. get their heat we from want their the environment war- right they want they're already called they want the warmth yeah, yeah that doesn't I don't make really any sense. so making them snakes yeah isn't gonna I don't it makes well. you it actually makes you less able to withstand yeah we'll all freeze and just go yeah. stiff yeah yeah as, it doesn't as make a board as a snake yeah 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 what you said. Um, but at, yeah, but at this point, the cops show up. <laughs> yeah, and well, because she she comes home, Christine comes home, yeah. mm-hmm. and she's cornered by the King Cobra who just killed her dad. Mm-hmm. And right. the cops show up, and we get a shotgun to the snake moment. Oh, that right. snake was definitely killed, right? That, that snake was, was definitely killed. Mm-hmm. That was that snake's head got blown off. That yeah. snake's head got blown off. Mm-hmm. And I, normally, I would be Feel very like upset it. by that. But you were not. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a snake, so I kind of how cool. It. How, yeah, how in the cool. 70s, I'm sorry. How cruel. I'm you sorry. will see animal mutilation yes. in movies, but it's usually animals that you know, are generally considered vermin or something. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, one it's might the consider they one. deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's you can look at me on that one. That's fine. Real snake. Yeah. Real head getting blown off. In, um, in the meantime, David, who is now a snake, is. Um, yes. Is in the lab, and the mongoose has been set free. Oh no! Right, the mongoose has been <laughs> the set free. Mongoose has it been gets set loose. We finally yeah. get the mongoose fight we've been waiting for this entire movie. Yeah. And this is also a real mongoose attacking it's, a yeah. real cobra. Yeah, there's Don't no there's either. no way to this get around that. Bo- this That's bothered what's happening. Me. This yeah. bothered me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to see that. No, I don't want to see that. No, because blood's like squirting on the wall, like yeah. real blood yeah. coming yeah. out of its snake. It's like, I, oh Jesus, this is like a fight to the death. Yeah, that mongoose like gets its fangs in the snake's eyes. Yeah, and. Uh, like this. And Christine comes in and, and she's like, no, oh, David. David. Oh my God. You know, and it's like screaming. A, yeah. Screaming. Because he's being torn apart by a fucking mongoose. Yeah. And we see <laughs> the mongoose like take a big bite and then we f- go to Christine's face. Screams. Screams. Freeze, Freeze frame. frame. Cut to blood. Movie Credits. over. Over. That's it. I know. A moment of a crescendo of horror. <laughs> Or it lack of resolution, intense, some might say. Copyright yeah. 2021. I am. Freak show crescendo of horror. Sounds like a but I mean, that's, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's one of those 70s things that I just love. <laughs> when it just goes to credits. Goes to credits. I credits. credits. love that. Get out. It's over. Done. Like, I we love have no more to say here. Everyone. Movies. Yeah, dead. but it leaves you on like a moment where, I mean, it did I'm build okay. this like oh, frenzy David's, of shit. Oh, David's dead. But it, that mongoose is dead, dead In an age when like they give us five endings in a movie, like no, I like the time yeah. when movies would just like end. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's refreshing. like American Werewolf in London. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Oh, okay. It would have been cool, I think, if they did have that extra scene where. You know, yeah, I was like, in this case, as much as I love that ending, I did want a snake baby. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of wanted to just like coming through the stomach, stretching the skin out where you see it's a yeah. snake before it goes back in, or at least like running through her body where you see that. Yeah, it's a that snake, would be something cool. Like that. Something. But again. I like the egg. We're asking a lot for oh, 1973. Well, egg would be good. That, egg would be good, but a baby comes out. I think if you check the back of that box, this is an award-winning movie. In what? Uh, it won best. Oh, it did at the sci- it won the science fiction award. Um, yep, you're right. Best science fiction movie at movie or effect. No, or visual think... effect, makeup effects. Maybe it won two awards. Ooh, it could I'll, be a, all right, a double award-winning movie. <laughs> I'll look it up. So don't. Reception. Yeah, it's like the, but it won it in 1975. That's why I was wondering when was it released? Because it was like the 75 like uh, World Sci-Fi Con, the Bi uh, Con. The third Paris International Festival of Fantastic mm-hmm. and Science Fiction Film Best Special Effects of 1974. The winner. Yeah, and uh, I mean Leonard Moulton gave this three out of four stars. Uh, uh, Siskel did not like it. He gave it one and a half out of four. Mm. So, yeah. but you know, what did Ebert like it? Uh, I, don't I know. doubt it. I, I probably can't. Yeah. I can't no, imagine he would like have liked it. Hmm. But uh, yeah. But did we like it? Mm-hmm. Right, that is That's the, the question. main question. Mm-hmm. I have an answer for one person here. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we are going to go around the table, and we're going to tell you if you should watch. 
<laughs> but first, we're going to read some of your mail. In, and in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. <laughs> <laughs> masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. <laughs> do you think Igor's trying to call related him. to any of the snakes in this movie, Probably, right? I, I would, I would I feel say like he's yes. related to David. I feel like David's got to be yeah, a cousin it's not, of his, it's right? Yeah, not distant family. Yeah. There's something there, but mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we should let the he good... He came. <laughs> he showed up, yeah. Maybe he's like halfway through the transition process. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. 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 He's just been stuck that way for yeah. quite a while. So, uh, well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. <laughs> or they can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram or threads at Saturday Night <laughs> Freak <you>. Show. Uh, <laughs> or Sat Freak Show. Um, about tonight's movie, uh, Michael Whitaker says, uh, let me guess, it's a movie about snakes or a slow leak? <laughs> this will be a great episode to see how many of the Freak Show members get fed up trying to say the title. <laughs> Lord knows I've said it to myself like twice and I'm already over it. Watching the trailer now and Blast Hard Cheese himself is among the cast. Now I'm jealous. Indeed. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I think that's... I think that's why we're all happy this movie came tonight, so we can get it out of our system. We never have to mention it again. We were joking about, before we started watching it, that what if this movie was about a gas leak that made people hallucinate <laughs> snakes? Right. Yeah. Also good. Yeah. Shocking twist right. for an A24 film. Yeah. That's what the sh sequel should be. No snake A really in dour, sight. serious movie about that a gas I would leak. Like. Yeah. Uh, Appleiva says, this was the era's Sharknado. Oh. I think it's better. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, I'd rather watch this than Sharknado. Mm -hmm. um, Robin Lineman Silver Silverberg says, you have to get it right or I'm going to be OCDing my way through the entire episode. It's s but you have to hiss in lowercase. This is because <laughs> you have to start in uppercase and then hiss. Yeah, but yeah. on our social media, I capitalize the titles of uh, all yeah. movies, so I have to capitalize it. Yeah. Okay. It's well, that's how seven it yeah, it is yeah. capitalized. It's right yeah. there. Well, yeah. One of them, yeah. and then the rest are not. Mm -hmm. So you got um, to start capitalized and then go right. lowercase. Different sound altogether. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what Robin's saying. There you go. I agree. Right. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called The Crow City of Angels. How Travis Legler writes in and says, For Holly asking why Ash would come back if he was with his son in death, in this case, his son's soul may not be able to rest in peace due to the untimely death of or the violent death, so the father coming back and writing this wrong makes it so his son's soul can rest. I've never seen the movie, so I'm making this shit up. Yeah, as you do I was for like, if that like were there, that'd be great, but it wasn't I was going to you no, are no. making that up, and it's not, it's not a thing. You know, he's doing the brain work for but us. it also works, just because, just because nothing <laughs> in that movie There's nothing else did, in that, to that, so I'm, yeah. I'm just, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Miller says, good soundtrack. It's the least worst of the Crow sequels. Well, that's the actually least true. Worst. Okay, for some reason, I was scrolling through social media the other day, and what popped up, but Kirsten Dunst talking to a crow... A scene from that movie, and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. I think in that no. one, the hook is that, like, she meets and falls in love with the guy after he's dead, like, after he comes back. Okay. Okay. If I remember, because right. like, there a big he's, So she met him with the face paint? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really what I'm asking here. He's, like, framed for Electric. a killing or something. Yeah, something. If I'm remembering this right, right stop talking. I don't try. want to watch yeah, these movies, I, but you keep talking about them. And, and I'm just I saw like, why? the new one. And oh yeah, okay. Colin did see the new yeah, one. We told right. you we'd give you an update. Yeah. I did not get to go see it. I no. saw something far better. But Colin, <laughs> you did see the crow. If you can put the originals out of your mind, which some people will not be able to do because it's sacrilegious, uh, it was all right. But is it Rupert Sanders' best movie? He's got three. Can you rank them? <laughs> is it better than Ghost in the Shell? It's about the same as Ghost in the Shell okay. to me. Right. So yeah, that was why I but, couldn't do yeah, it. Way better. Like I think they're about Huntsman. equal. Yeah. Yeah. It's an, a Rupert Sanders movie. I did mm -hmm. like them both better than Snow White and the Huntsman. Yep. I think um, we need to stop calling them Rupert Sanders movies because nobody else will ever know them by that. That's right. He's the guy who did, somehow he had keeps an getting affair work. with uh, so true. Yeah, Kristen, Kristen Stewart. Stewart. Yep. 
uh, the week Had before. A staged affair. Yeah. That wasn't real. Sta- mm-hmm. Yeah, staged. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. Those pictures look fake. As fuck. 100% okay. fake. Mm-hmm. She just wanted to get out of it with uh, yes, Pattinson. Did she, did no, she set my, it up to get out no, of it? No, my theory is that her and Pattinson were already broken up. Yeah, and and that it. this was all just in preparation for press for the upcoming Breaking Dawn movie. And it helps Snow White and the Huntsman. And it helps Snow White and the Huntsman. Mutually yeah. beneficial. Yeah. 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 It helps oh, yeah. both. I'm not. Yeah. yeah it's probably PR stuff. Conspiracy theories about. Oh, yeah. but not too far off. Basement. PR shit. Ha- like yeah. weird PR I shit think, like that happens all the time. I think the they time. were already broken up and they just used this to their benefit. Maybe. You yeah. hear, heard it here first mm-hmm. or last, or, or, but or, there or you go. 30, yeah. yeah as, as 15 yeah, years. Right. Right. Considering how far along we are. Yeah. The week before we watched the movie and it was called Godzilla Minus One. Chili Morrison wrote right in, wrote in and said, it was wild hearing the Godzilla theme played at the Oscars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, for sure. And all their shoes with the Godzilla that. claws on them. I loved dope. it. Yeah. That was great. That was great. Yep. I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very happy for them. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, everyone, for yes, writing in. We you. really appreciate it. Yes, Love hearing you from you. Thank you very much. Keep doing it. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie. Starting with... Michaela, <laughs> you're going to go first with the snakes. All right. What did you think of... S- so I'm glad we finally are crossing this one off the freak show list because it's been talked about for so long. I'm, and as like, the pencil hype... dragged through the title, it went. <laughs> yes, there's like been a lot of hype building around it. And I mean, I had a great time watching it. I'm really curious if there's a mystery science theater on it because I bet Ooh. it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so that's my next homework I'm giving myself is I'm going to seek out a riff tracks or whatever and watch this again. Um, I mean, I'm not bothered by snakes in the same way other people might be. So I would say caveat if that is something that bothers you. That's you. You're you know, people. consider it. Thank but, you. Thank um, you. also like the animal cruelty is hard to take. I, I do. I do hate that. That is something we are confronted with anytime we watch a movie from the seventies because I love movies from the seventies, but it is hard to stomach. Sometimes this movie it had its moments where I was like, this is excessive. Um, but it was still really stupid and really fun. And it went for a wild idea that I have to respect like the major swing that is taken here. And I mean, wow. I mean, I thought it was going to be a movie about a guy turning into a snake and it was that and so much more. So, you know, <laughs> and Red Brown. Yeah. Um, I didn't expect whiskey drinking snake. That was a member of the family. I thought almost the way they were talking about him. I was like, is this going to be like the spirit of their grandfather in or the like, snake? Wait, are we sure that, Snake wasn't a person that, before? That's what I'm saying. I think it no. was. I was thinking that the whole time. I, I never like, thought of that. I thought that was going to be a it, reveal. It I never thought of that. It wasn't because uh, he says at the beginning when he's selling the carnival barker, yeah. like you celebrate my failures. Like uh, he has not achieved. Uh, perfection with this yet. Yeah, making okay. a person into a But snake I guess yet. like, yeah, I thought for sure it was going to be almost like a get out thing, right? We're like, yeah, grandpa's reincarnated in the snake. Right. But so he has the grandpa personality of drinking whiskey every night and reading the newspaper. Right. That but, is an old man who and, got turned into a snake. Right. Yeah. Especially yeah. because they said he's been with us for so long and he was 60 years old. I'm like, they're laying the That's groundwork for this reveal. Yeah, yeah. That's and his father. And then we never get it. And it's just an old snake. And I was like, <sighs> okay, well, now you, this, you're making me question the logic because you're saying he you, he can't you can't deny this man his whiskey. It's like, well, you gave it to him to begin with. If he's always been a snake, yeah, right. That was a choice you, you made. Do, what's he gonna do? Yeah. Domestically assault me? Like, yeah, what is like, this snake? Exactly. Like, Whereas, you literally forced an addiction upon the snake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that snake. Yeah. That, that snake knew nothing of whiskey before right. you came into the picture. Whereas if it was an old man that got get outed into a snake, <laughs> it makes <laughs> way more sense. So I I, I feel no, like now I see them taking a human brain did, and yeah, shoving yeah. it into yeah. a fucking snake. Did we mention that she? Gives the snake Alka Seltzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I wanted to make sure we mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, uh, after all that whiskey, you're gonna have an upset stomach. Yeah, she right. says you're gonna turn that snake into an alcoholic or something. Yeah. Like that, and then, it's yeah. like, well, yeah, it's, it's like when people in like the '80s would get chimpanzees and teach them how to smoke. It's like the same thing, you know. <laughs> Just like that. I remember that my my grandma and grandpa with their chimp. Every which way you the joke, list. but there's a documentary that just dropped on HBO Max Chimp, called Chimp, Chimp Crazy, Crazy? Yeah, about uh, people yeah. that have pet chimps. Okay. And if, guess what? At least one of them doesn't have a nose because oh. that's what happens when you have a <laughs> chimp. Yeah, they, they, they rip All right, your face well, off. I'm, now I'm so, convinced to watch yeah. this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love this macabre kind of shit because um, it is dark, but um, it's it's insane and stupid and goofy. If you heard anything like. We can't do with justice the level of insanity, so I think you need to witness it for yourself. So I'm going to recommend it. Colin, what would you think? Um, I liked it. Um, it. I have a soft a soft spot for like 70s era movies like this because it seems like it's a it, it is a studio movie, right? I mean, it's a universal yeah. picture. Universal, I mean, yeah. they're low budget, but there's a professionalism 
even you're like, this is the corniest fucking thing, it's, right? Like it yeah. is a wild swing for a sci-fi concept mm-hmm. of, uh, you know, mad doctor going to turn a guy into a snake. But the writing, I thought like, yeah, there was some interesting exchanges. I'm like, okay, this guy's like a wordsmith a little bit. You know, it's like, yeah, no one seems professional. Dumb. As the, far as characters go, like well, no Red Brown, but it's intentional, but, you know, but purposeful uh, for him. Yeah, yeah but the, even the writing for his lines is, you know, amusing. You know, yes. that's what I'm saying. It's like there's an intelligence in the screenwriting um, that sometimes I don't feel like I'm getting now. Like, you know, these guys who wrote movies back then yeah. felt literate in a way <laughs> where modern filmmakers don't. feel film literate, you yes. know. Uh, and I think that's the difference that I'm feeling. It's like these guys actually read books and plays right, and stuff no, like that. No. The filmmakers now grew up on the movies. They grew up on movies. That's that's what yeah, it's like that that meme I sent you guys a long time ago. It's like, you know, I love that George Lucas took his love of like Westerns and samurai yes. movies and made Star Wars. And but now the, everyone. Star Wars. I'm making Star Wars. Everyone that loves yeah. Star Wars is just making more Star Wars. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I guess I like that quality about it. Um I thought the, uh, yeah, I mean, it just, it made some wild swings. And I guess, uh, you know, is it burying the idea that he's turning the guy into a snake? Is that like supposed to be a surprise for the audience, you know, as, you, as you're going through it? I think it's supposed to be a review. I, well, think of your audience in 1973. Yeah. I think it's, they're I think like, that's okay, a, it's a, a, a whoa movie. Moment. It's doing something. And then at yeah. the end, it's like, oh my God, he's trying to turn this guy I, I into so. a I think snake. We're supposed to be as shocked as she is when she finds yeah. the snake. Yeah. Boy. That's how it felt. Yeah. You know, it's like, it'd be, it would be a genuine surprise yeah. for everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, and there's a, lo- a lot of snakes action uh Lots more than things. i expected i'm uh, i guess you know but uh i'm saying that's a plus i enjoyed it and i would recommend that you check it out holly what'd you think oh uh, here we go <laughs> this was hard you guys <laughs> <laughs> this is really really hard for me to watch <laughs> um I, I i i'm not the best judge for this movie <laughs> right here's the thing I am really. When I was three, a snake touched my. Leg. I am really, really, really scared of snakes. She truly it is. is I folks. really am. I, I could feel her hyperventilating. I, I was, was panicking. Playing. I was jumpy. I am very terrified of snakes. But I also really love seventies movies. I love <laughs> cheesy monster like creature feature movies. And with that in mind, I have to say you should watch this movie. <laughs> I have to dis- I have to compartmentalize. No higher take- recommendation can you get <laughs> but from the to, woman who hates snakes. I have to compartmentalize and take my fear out of the situation and say if this had been any other creature, I would have loved this movie. Right. It's just the fact that it's snakes and I'm genuinely terrified of them and just like seeing them on screen is horrifying to me that makes me not want to watch it. But I do understand that it is our wheelhouse. It's the kind of movie we love. And I know that you should watch it. Just if you have a fear of snakes like I have, maybe not. Right. You can, but you survived. I survived. But you had to. But I'm still nervous. Like, I'm still on edge. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> that sounded like a bat. Mm-hmm. But, um, That's the shaking of a rattle. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Got it. Um, <laughs> thank you. So, yeah. I'm going to say if you have a deathly fear of snakes like I have, maybe don't watch it or maybe take a Xanax beforehand or something. I don't know. But the quality of movie, it's, it's a fun movie. It hits all the beats that we like. So I'm, I'm going to recommend it. Sean, take us home. Yeah. Not much else to say besides that. Uh, had a good time with it. Um, I'm glad we finally got to watch. Um, yeah, again, there is, it, it, it seems to be just a, 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 a bit uh, on a level better than just a, uh, maybe a more, stupid movie from this area there is some t- intelligence to the movie which uh it shows up in i mean it shows up in the screenwriting it shows up in the way the movie is made it's very competently made um a lot of snakes in this just it just it, a, a ridiculous movie a fun movie it's called what else what else do you need like that like uh, you should know exactly what you're going to get out of this um and especially based on everything we've said so far yeah i had a fun time with it i'm gonna recommend it um, yeah, you got to watch. All right. Well, that, that means uh, all, if all four of us, all four of us, yeah. you that have means to. you're contractually <laughs> obligated by listening to the show. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. There you go. There we go. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Well, uh, next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. Mm. I hope it's another snake movie. It's not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm done with summer. I'm oh. getting ready for spooky season. Oh, okay. so I want something a little like. I want that flavor. Some with a little know? more foliage. I want that more flavor. Orange foliage. Um, we're taking a swing on this one. Oh, no. I've never seen it, but I think it could be a good time. We're watching a movie called Eyes of Fire. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, I okay. don't know this one. Nope. Okay. 1983. 83, Eyes of Fire. Anybody in it? Nope. No. <laughs> Wait, there was no one guy in it I yeah. recognized, but uh, I can't remember what I Eyes saw. Of- You've <laughs> seen this? I've seen it. Is yeah. there a okay. vague idea of what it's about? Um, frontier witchcraft. It's okay. like an American is, folk. Yeah, this is like a, this is like so a colonial. Ma- like, Kayla's my future, future <laughs> slash past yeah, slash. This is like a colonial like witchcraft preacher. Oh, like damning a village. Yeah, oh, actually, okay. shit. The guy who's in it. Oh, well, we'll talk about yeah, it. Okay. Okay. Like, no, right, I'm David. I'm right. seeing his face. Yeah. Okay. But it's on Shutter, so join us. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. So next week, Eyes of Fire on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.